alone. Well, I'm in another wood and I'm going to go down this way because because there's somewhere I want to get to. And I'm hoping it's all going to be fine. But on the way here I was seeing a lot of ash trees being cut down, or had been cut down. So we'll see. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm used to working backwards. <laughs> you know? Like up is down and down is up and left is right. And uh, this doesn't work like that. This actually works the way you, uh, you expect it to. Anyway, I'll shut up because um, I can get rid of it all in the editing. Well, I can't actually, but there you go. Well, here's one of the caves. not the kind of thing I'm into. Maybe when I'm dead. Lay me in a mound. So let's have a quick peek along there. Uh, there you go, that's <laughs> there. And that's along there. Now we'll come up here and just have a look. Just to satisfy your curiosity. And, and mine. It's not a one way street. And yeah, you can get in there if you want. Now look at this, this is obviously mined. Look. That's a, a definite mined block. Now I think there's a path down there to our left. Yeah, there is. I'm not gonna go down there, because that goes, well, because it goes down, and <laughs> you know what I'm like about having to come back up anywhere. But this grove.
And it makes me think. And uh, I came across this idea the other day. Where someone was saying that if you look at it, the earth looks like it's been completely mined everywhere. You know, there are places I can't stand. Like, for example, um, Death Valley. Got no interest in going there, it looks bleak to me. Same as some parts of Mid Wales, just bleak. I mean, admittedly, some of that is a whole load of slag heaps and stuff, but you know, when once you start looking, like the way the ocean's been scraped out, you know, there was a great flood, so it wasn't quite as deep. Just all of it, everywhere you look, even earthworks in some of the places I go, man-made. I'm not saying everything's man-made, but it's all quarried. Everything's been re-sculptured, you know, <laughs> there isn't a natural bit of the earth. Just a thought and a quick ramp before we got this intriguing path. Perfect birch. Looks like that might be. An entrance, doesn't it? Come and look at this. Look at that. A yew growing out of a whole load of rocks. Now I'm going to try and see if I can get up. <laughs> Ooh, just. Another rock up there. And yes, this is a result of quarrying. This is where some bath stone came from. You know, most of the hills around Bath have been quarried. There's another bit to have a look in. This is a proper explore. So <laughs> I hope that I'm going to have time See, so I'm getting uh, sidetracked before I get there. Oh, what's this? Whew. 
to it. It's giving my legs a workout. How about yours? And here's another cliff face here. So let's have a, an investigation. Oh look. Yeah, man-made hole. Another cave entry there. And um, yes, I do. <laughs> For anyone who's wondering if I ever think that the floor is going to give way underneath me. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, there's a nice bit of moss in here. I don't know if I can get it with this gimbal now. through the birch and past the birch guard and we're now going to go to an open area there you go there's bath down through there oh this is a good view now oh wow this is a good shot now you can see wow this is a really good shot for this that's incredible. Okay. Can you see in the center of the shot? There's like a, if you look to the horizon, there's like a caterpillar of trees and then a flat area below that. Well, that's Salisbury Hill. you can see just how flat that is you'll see I've already got some walks up there on my channel and there are some coming as well but you can see how that would have been a good lookout post and it's quite nice getting the caterpillar of trees from what they what's called hanging hill it's called hanging hill because there's a load of trees on there not a wood, just a group of trees. <laughs> Nothing to do with executions. So as you can probably guess, this is like a, an area where lots of people come. And, uh, yeah, have barbecues and stuff. You're not supposed to. But this is like a, I, I'm, I mean, there's hazel coming now, but I really don't know why it's so lacking in trees. There's another cliff, as you can see. Now, I'm hoping 
that I'm going to be able to go through here. There's an orange mesh. So I know this was closed off last time I came up, which wasn't thrilling because that was my mission. <laughs> okay, now I really am hoping this goes to where I want because I only found it by accident. Well, I've uh, spared you some of the difficulty. Basically what they've done is they've, and this is being done in, everywhere around Britain, is any anywhere within, what, 30 meters? Maybe 20 meters of a path or road they're cutting down all the ash just to stop, just in case. So anyone who's thinking of buying woodlands next to a road for any reason, bear in mind that you're going to be responsible for that. And you'll see at the moment, there's a lot of woodlands for sale. And the reason for that is, is that they border along roads and you're going to have to cut all the ash down, which involves rather a lot of expense unless you do it yourself. But you, know, you still have to have the money to spend the time <laughs> to, to do the work. Now, I have to admit to not knowing what this is, I did, used to think it was an that's Angelica, isn't it? Look at that stem. Whereas the red ones, I'm not so sure. They're a whole... I thought I'd got it narrowed down. You know, but umbilifers, they really are uh, a league of their own in identification. One day you think you've got it. I mean, most people know cow parsley. I know hogweed and giant hogweed. I'm... See, I thought Angelica had green stems. Is there some with red? The heads are quite rounded like Angelica. Hmm. And as if by magic, uh, this is hogweed. The lesser hogweed. Oh, that's taller than me. That's taller than me by a couple of feet, so it actually might be giant hogweed. But, no, it's not, it's not, it's too thin, but it's getting there. <laughs> a giant hogweed has nice thick stems, you know, but if you put your finger and thumb together, that it's bigger than that, you know, the circle that it makes in between. Rose Bay Willow Herb. Fireweed. Well, I think I've beaten Bonner. Because I've found what I'm looking for.
moss smells earthy. Look at that little path up there. But I do love that. You can see how this one's obviously fallen, fallen off, fallen away, slipped down, you know, under some collapse. Oh, I love this bit. I don't know why. I mean, look at that. Sorry about the light bleed. Look at that. I just love the way the trees have taken over the top. see people like to have a fire under there I mean would you would you sit up sit under an overhang of rock with a heat underneath not for me mate wow look at this one Are you ready for this to go up there, I've got too much encumbrance. <laughs> My very small brain. But this is one of my favorite places to go. Look at this. How out of Lord of the Rings is that? And that path coming down, I can't get to it from here. Just, it's just, I'm sure a rock climber could. But I'm not a rock climber, mate.
Look at that. There it is, perched out from underneath. Amazing, as are all of them. Well, I'm going to try and do a, try and do a pan for you. 